Hello, we have got our KitchenAid tore apart. This bad dog was leaking a little bit. He had some grease separation, which is common with KitchenAids. In fact, it's common with anything that has a, any sort of grease. So, I took it apart, and basically, it's just coming out of the seal here. I'll show you a second. This is what we got. Oops, look at that. I just got a thumb full of, thumb full of fun. I gr went to grab the cover, and I missed. Okay, here's our cover. Let me grab this carefully this time. Here's our cover. And as you can see, we've got machine gear in there, which goes to the front if you want to attach your meat grinder, or I don't know what, really what else they I think they have a wheat thrasher and, I don't know, some sort of back massager probably. If you want to buy it, they will sell it. So this just went on like this. And I popped it off. Um, it goes on really easy, just like that. You can see it seated. But I pulled that off, and I just wanted to check the oil. Or, <laughs> well, there was some oil. I just wanted to check all the grease. This is food grade grease. There it is. It's off again. And it looks okay. I'm not going to change it this time. Next time I tear it apart, I will change it. But this time I think it's going to be perfectly fine. I get, it passes a sniff test. For those of you who have never smelled food grade grease, it's surprising that you can eat it. It doesn't smell, well, it doesn't smell like cookies. But here's your motor. And this, of course, is yours. What I found surprising about this, and for those of you who don't care, give me a minute just to be a little bit of a mechanical geek, is that they have a rounded surface, you have a bronze bearing, that this worm gear rides on. And they put a rounded radius on that, which coincides to a rounded radius in your cover. Your plastic cover, which I think should be steel, but that's just my little personal opinion. But that's some pretty heavy plastic. I mean, it's not lightweight at all. But I'd like to see I'd like to see the cover made out of uh, some sort of steel or pot metal or something a little bit more sturdy. But heck, I don't know. But anyways, you have a curved radius in this cover. Let me point it out to you, right there, which helps to center that because when you put pressure on it, it's going to it's going to automatically find center. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was great. Here's your motor, and you've got a mount right here, screw, and you've got another one right here. I don't know how well this camera's going to focus. This is not a... But right in there, you've got another screw, and that'll come right off. I've already had that off, just, just for the fun of it. So I, of course, there's four wires, and I marked them for sure. Then I coincided on the motor, just so that I do not put the wrong wire in the wrong location. But to pop this top off, this top's over here, let me grab it, right here, you've got four screws, see, it's a pretty iconic cover, you can tell it's a KitchenAid from a mile away, we've got one, two, and then there's two more on the other side that go right into there, there's one of your screw mounts, there's the other screw mount, two more on the opposite side, but to get at those, let me set that down, it isn't light, none of this stuff is super light, none of it's plastic, it's all pot metal. This is like a maybe a zinc or a, I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but here's your band. Your band, your, which covers up your screws, goes right there and then there's one screw that goes into the back right here that holds that on. You pop that off, you have access to your four screws and you have access to this whole thing. But the cover goes on just like this and I did move the grease around a little bit and get it where it should be so when it's operating it will flail around and keep lubricating. We don't use this a whole heck of a lot, mainly because we don't need that many carbohydrates, and mixers are generally used for mixing carbohydrates, like your cakes and your cookies. Now, you can make whipped cream with this thing, too, but, I mean, I don't know how many quarts that bowl is, but I don't plan on eating five quarts of whipped cream, so we just use a little hand mixer for that. But these things are durable. This is a, what do they call this one? Oh, let's see. This is a KitchenAid 725. It's got 775 watts. And it's a professional HD. So it's uh, it's been a good mixer. It's 15 years. I think we've had it 10 or 15 years. And it's uh, never even hiccuped. It's always worked. But I just cleaned it all up. Got all the grease off. I went inside all the cracks and crevices right here with some some cleaner and some cloth. I'm going to go around it again and get all the stuff I missed. But that's how you do it. And if you wanted to change, if you wanted to change your um, grease, 
Well, see that one just, see how that, that gear just falls right out of there. You just take the gears out, clean it out, and then you would uh, replace it. I looked in the, the, the lube for it's not that expensive. It's about $7, I think. So that is it. That is what we are doing today. And uh, this should no longer, we should have another good five or ten years without any leakage. And then when it does start leaking again, I'll pull it apart and I'll change the, uh, the grease in it and get everything back to where it should be. But if you like our video, subscribe. Thanks for watching.